part you want women's to part in the theatre. It's not as in the, in the film is shown that he is singing, and but it was a women's part of the, the theatre. And he made it so magnificent. He came uh, to talk to us. There was a, a similar um, uh, assembly as here at the Swiss Embassy in Berlin. And he came to, uh, and he said something about Kiev, and that was the first time I heard that, um, that, that there was in Kiev a uh, film festival, and even for a long, in a long tradition. And so um, uh, I, I thought, well, the political situation is difficult. I would go by myself, but I fear for us, and I don't want uh, to, to bring him in any sort of danger. And um, and then I said, well, but Kiev, oh yes, it, it, they need they need the message. And then I said, if you're still alive and healthy enough, then you should we should come. And uh, so in uh, what was it? End of October? Yes, we were there. And we were there not with Matthias, uh, with, with Stefan, um, half, but with the producer of the film. We went to the Molodist, and the Molodist uh, Film Festival, they have a gay section also. And it's called uh, Sunny Bunny. <laughs> Funny name! I don't know why they found this name, really. <laughs> Yes. We're gonna we're gonna um, kiss you goodbye because we have to go to the office. Oh you go yeah, you go working. You, you, uh, you, you, you know where they are. We are where they are the workshop, uh, but you have to ask him. You have to ask him. He is the boss, he knows about everything. Yes, talk later, hopefully we see you for a great Yes, wonderful. Oh wait, thank you so nice to see you. It's wonderful. Have a wonderful time. All the best of yes. Have a rope with you. Okay. See you later. Thank you very much. You know, yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Right. He is talking and just. So <laughs> <He does. laughs> but then we thank give. You very um, much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. Oh no no no. So I'd like to talk to you for just a moment, the two of you. Um, the Kiev story with the, with the theater being burnt down. Yeah, yeah. Get after it. yeah. I wondered if that ever those kinds of things that happened over the years to you that came close to you in Switzerland with the, either during the 40s or just a homophobic period. We have been uh, at home when it burns. And it is not about our film. It is... Uh, Accident. Uh, they, they do it separately. It was is a, a group from rich people. They want to break down the cinema and make a supermarket, mm -hmm. and th that's the main reason it burns. Okay. And n not specially uh, anti-homosexual. And we were we were on one day before we were at home. In the film, there's a, a great fear of discovery, and yet at, at, at your ball, uh, it seems very safe within the ball. And the dressing up, the performance in drag, the singing, all that kind of inside culture that, that yes. gay yes. and lesbian people have. And particularly back in, in those days, no one else really knew about it. Today, people know about it. How did you overcome the fear of being seen um, by accident or by some infiltrator and, and how it could change your life? Um, no, it was always clandestine. It never came out in in the Christ in the Christ time. Later on, mm, yes, that that was different. But it it was with with us. We never we never uh, went on stage after the Christ. Not anymore. I was I was uh, writing uh, in the newspapers and I was editing um, the gay newspapers, which followed the Christ. But um, and Robbie. Uh, Sometimes, well, we, we, we went much later, much, much later, when we were 70, uh, he start, we started uh, to go into public with um, uh, the same songs and, and, and uh, poems um, of the Christ. And uh, that was then together with, with um, uh, 
expositions uh, on the Kreis in Berlin first and then in Zurich afterwards in, 19, in, in uh, 2000, in the year 2000. Now, you were the bell of the ball. You know, the, 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 the great beauty. Um, and you saw him yes. uh, in his persona of performing. What did you think? And, and did you ever think that maybe you could get his attention? No, I, I thought, I thought um, well, he's, he's so wonderful and I would love to have him as a friend, but, but he's the star of the class and everyone knows him and, and, and there's no chance for me. And it, uh, so it took, it took se several weeks until we, we get an opportunity to speak together. And um, yes, so. And Robbie? But for me, it was, I was touched from Ernst. He's, he was so intelligent and he talks so very good. And uh, then I had always the, had the wish to meet him. But it was rather difficult because we know each other, but no name and no telephone, no, no address. And that's why so you were it takes aware quite of a long time yeah. we meet uh, yeah. by chance then later. Because in the crisis, nobody ever they knew the live. name of the others. We all yeah. had three names and very often wrong ones. Just, so, just, like, the Madison, just like the Madison Society. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You were aware of one and the Madison Society? Yes. And did you have any, any relationship with uh, them? Not personally. I knew about through the Christ, yes, Magician Society and how it was founded and also one. And, um, and then um, articles of, um, of Magician Society or one, the magazine, it was a magazine then, um, they were in exchange sometimes with the Christ, yes, vice versa. And um, it was always all, all um, what they, we call uh, the sister organizations all over the world. They were, they were listed up on the last page of each issue of the Christ. And there was Matching Society and one as well. Uh, right from um, 53. 1953. How easy was it to have a relationship? I mean, in a time when everything was closeted, when one couldn't be public, how easy was it to have a, a real relationship? It was actually quite easy because it was clandestine. Um, when we walked in the street, either Robbie walked in front and me behind or, or opposite, we never walked both together and we never even touched each other. But, uh, that was not possible. But um, this was also sort of, uh, of a disguise and which had its funny side. And it was a great chance. My mother was so open and she loved Ernst very much. And she told me always be secret, be honest and don't lose Ernst. And she say also, now I have two sons. And this uh, relationship with my mother had uh, very strong moments, still she died. And so it was not a problem for the family. Did you ever go out dressed up on the street? No. Did just, you ever want to? Just for carnival. Right, yeah. And I was uh, never spectacular or a, a drag queen or something like this. I was always only for the stage and then I had mostly serious roles and I was then a woman from a normal woman and no that's why he also the means it is a real woman who plays on the stage and not the man and uh, we had the, the big chance as the uh, leader of the Christ. It was also an actor, and he was a very good teacher also for uh, for young men to 
quite correct and he helped me quite a lot. And Ernst wrote also some cabaret numbers for me, but uh, mostly it was serious cabaret and not too... Uh, not too now I'm going to ask you a very serious question. Yes. What did you think of the actor who portrayed you and the actor that portrayed your loved one? <laughs> We had a very good connection to both. And they came to us and uh, we meet them many times and we are now quite good friends, especially with Matthias. Sven is always in Hamburg, we don't see him so often, but he came and he stayed with us and he learned the Swiss dialect from Zurich because he, he, he came from Basel and they have another dialect and so we learned his part and uh, it, 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 it was a very good connection. Also, Miss Anatole Taubman, whose play Felix, he came several times to us at home. We, we had a very good connection. So, Now, this is a personal question, and you don't have to answer it, but did you keep all of your dresses over I, the years? Yeah. <laughs> And did I you show them to Matthias? Of, because I had a show uh, where my uh, human uh, circus, and uh, so I have several costumes at, still at home. But I don't. And one of it, um, they even used for, for the exposition in Berlin. Oh. Yes. <laughs> And uh, when I, I had uh, in Karlsruhe in, in Germany, they want I sing and I had four songs. But then I had a white jacket and a cylinder and uh, so as a man and I sung several songs there and it was a great, great pleasure for all day. Are you going to perform here? I don't think so, unfortunately. Oh. <laughs> we would like that. We would yeah. like that. Yeah. Maybe when we can, can come back. Uh, How much longer are you here for? Sorry? How much longer are you in New York? It is the first time okay. we came on Sunday, also Monday we came and we stay still tomorrow, tomorrow we fly to you know LA the and then to Palm Springs and <laughs> then we come then you get to rest. again <laughs> and maybe we come back. Uh, when we win an Oscar or something, yes, then we come back to LA. The um, right now is a film festival like yes. no other film festival in the world. Uh -huh. It's called the Queer Experimental Film Festival, yes. and it's environmental. And I was there last night, uh, yeah. and I'm going to talk to John Murphy and say the two of you should come and visit this. It's quite extraordinary. Yes. So I will tell him, yes. and maybe I will see you tonight at the, it's called Mix, mm -hmm. and it's international, yes. but it's like nothing I've ever been to in my life. We, Your book? We, we are not, uh, we don't make the program. I know. That's why I'm going to talk to him and see yes. if we can get you, if it's possible, because yes. I think that both of you would like, it's such, it's such a queer environment. That's the word they use today. Thank you. The, you, the, you, the, the, you the young people, you know. Yes, I'm, I'm, yes. not, I'm not comfortable with it, but that's what they like to say. And and it's all young, and it's all it's just uh, wonderful. But, uh, you, don't, you know, for us, such an event like today, it, it is extra. Wonderful. And it's a, such a deep feeling how we are uh, here. Uh, Everybody is, likes us, and it, we never know that we could be so before, but now here it is wonderful. I want to ask you about being a, a gender illusionist, a gender illusionist, a person who uh, creates something that they're not. 
Yes. You know? And how the effeminate boy, the effeminate gay man, yes. other than the, the sort of butch one over there, yes. you know, yes. who can pass, you know, uh, yes. the effeminate or the sissy does not pass. <laughs> and how do you deal with that? You seem to be quite strong in yourself, yeah. even stronger than him in a way. <laughs> yeah, in a way, yes. And uh, I feel maybe a little bit deeper, uh, but Ernst is still now the intelligent boy. He knows everything. He speaks very good. And my English is rather poor, and so, but uh, I am uh, so, like I told, I'm, I'm very touched, and, and this moment is absolute great. Yeah. Right for me. I never think I, I now 84 years old and the first time in New York and such a wonderful uh, party with uh, but you have such beautiful skin what do you do <laughs> <laughs> is it the air in Switzerland <laughs> no no it is, it is do you have a product that you make no <laughs> Uh, I'm playing with you because it's such a, a treat to sit next to you yes. and to know your history with Ernst, but just your history um, as a couple, as an individual, is, is something I had no I, no idea about. I knew nothing about yes. this history. And I'm someone who was at Stonewall. I'm someone that is involved in modern history. I had nothing. It was such a surprise. It was such a wonderful surprise. And that... Do you remember when you first went to this to that little place where the where the publication was published? Yes. How you saw those older men and what? And I don't know what to say. I'm also absolutely touched and very happy. See, you are now the old man. Yes. But when you were a young man, those other people that founded yes. um, were old. Older men, and I just, if you could just try to remember, were you frightened? Were you excited? Were... I think I would like to be 20 years younger and be my part self. Okay. But uh, Sven makes it wonderful, and also Matthias is very, very good in the film. And so you had but um, still a stage or theatre uh, it touched me and I would like to do it what, what would you say to the young person who um, sees you in this movie and realizes that long before he was born yes. there was someone doing what he wants to do which is perform gender roles Yes. And <laughs> what would you say to them today? Um, have a big respect to your partner and don't want to change him. Let him who he is because you love him how uh, like he is. And we were also all our life now uh, 58 years. 58 years. Yes, yes. And you and you still like each other. Yes, yes. <laughs> and we were open to each other and we had not um, special stories so we always talked together and it, it was very... Could you disagree? Could you disagree about something? Understand? Yeah. Could you, did you ever have an argument? Um, no, I, I love Ernst now like he is and, uh, and we, we are really uh, such parties and such uh, thing with the film it bring us nearer and nearer what does he ever cook 
Does Ernst ever cook? Make food, make dinner. Yeah. Does Ernst? No, I cook, and he is more the intellectual. Uh, he writes, uh, um, and he works on the computer, and I'm uh, for it. <laughs> Are there any contemporary um, gay people that you admire? Uh, like in Berlin, you met a lot of. <coughs> The gay art world. Yes. Uh, is there anyone that that you go? Oh my! I want to know that person. Uh, I don't think so because since twelve year we have a young friend. He likes elderly people, and this is also a thing. It's very very good for us. He's helpful and he loves us. And uh, now also when we are here, he's, 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 he's at home at Zurich and works. But we telephone two, twice or three times a day. And when we come again to the States, then we will come with us. We make the holidays mainly now with him because we both all have a bigger car. And so we we go by car and it's easier for us because I can't walk so much now. But, uh, that's also this uh, very, very good relationship with Giovanni. Did you ever think that the world would change about gay people in the way that it has? Um, now is a moment who is very good, but it can change and go back again because homophobia, it's still uh, actual, mm -hmm. uh, but so how it was, it never will be again, and I think uh, it is also the thing as to me, we show to the people and that it helps to be free, we show we are natural and we love each other as normal people. And that, that makes also the thing in the film. Well, you know, 58 years, you have a message for heterosexual people too. Yes. You know, it's very easy to break up the, yeah. any relationship, yeah. but staying together. Yeah. Uh, it is, of course, a, a big chance to understand each other so well. But, but now with all this, uh, what we have done, now it uh, makes us more together. We do. Well, well, thank you very much. I, 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 I thank you. I want to thank you for your life yeah. and for your role modeling and for your love. Yes. You know, you make an interview in a newspaper or uh, it, this magazine. Will be, this will be a newspaper, but it will also be when it's on the internet. The, that's why I'm doing the video yes. so people can see you <laughs> and can hear what you say rather than what I say you say. Yes. I think your words are, are very powerful. Yes. Okay? Thank you. Thank you very much. Because I went to the cafe and I Editor, uh, both editors of the French and of the English part of the Christ, they talked about Harry Hay. Yes, go on. Today, what would you say to a young gay or lesbian person anywhere in the world about the danger still of coming out and the importance of coming out? It's just, I need you to look at me. It's just, it's, oh, sorry. Yeah. It's just as important as it is dangerous. And you have to find out uh, if the danger is bigger than the importance of coming out. And coming out actually uh, comes after going in. Going in means the acceptance of yourself being gay. And this is a hard task to do, which costs quite a long time also. Because you, you start with it when you're about 13 or 12. 
and you don't finish it uh, before you're 24 or so. And um, then you can afterwards all side by side, uh, parallel to it, you can also do your coming out if um, your surrounding um, is uh, willing to hear and to take you for serious. But if you're not accepted at all, then it's not advisable. To One of the out. things that seemed so important in the beginning of, of the club was community, yes. uh, even in secret, right. but community, right. that one was not alone. Right. Uh, and yes. when you first went there, what motivated you to join? Um, I was more or less um, thrown into, because, because um, when I found out I was gay, uh, I always thought I'm the only one. I didn't even know a name to it. So I went to, to the library of my father and looked through lexicon, lexicons and uh, finally I found the word homosexuality um, among um, medicine and among um, um, what is it? Perversions. Yes. And under perversions was in was written uh, homosexually, and then immediately I said to myself, I was about 13 then, and I said, this is not true. Those people, learned people who wrote this, they do not know what they write about. I know by myself that this is part of my nature. And it has nothing to do with illness, nor with perversion, or nothing at all. So um, I, I the knew the name, I knew the name um, yeah. homosexuality, and I knew this is a uh, this is a word you would never ever use because it 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 gives you um, it gives you a sign, which is wrong. I have one other question to ask you because there are other people waiting yeah. to talk to you. You've been married, you've been together for 50, for 58 years. Yes. I think that maybe this gay couple may have something to say to heterosexual couples. How did you do it? This is actually very, very simple. First of all, you love your partner. And by loving your partner, you don't want to change your partner. Your partner is equal to you and is not any sort of uh, like an Alfa Romeo before the house, which is, which, which, which is a, a precious stone in your own crown. This is absolutely wrong and this is perverted. And, but you love, and you love the other. And then you want to, to, to see that he may develop himself and you help him developing after his own way and to respect the other person always. To you love somebody means you respect the other. And, you, you, and this respect goes before, before everything else. Robbie said exactly the same thing when I asked him this question. Ah, well. so, the, so the key is to let the other person be who they are right. and to respect and encourage their development by loving them completely. Yes. Is that correct? Yes, exactly. Right. Right, thank Absolutely. you very much. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah. So we're just going to bring